Hi everyone, this is Sarah. Welcome to my channel, Selmond. Today, I'll be making this plaque using my Silhouette Cameo. It's a verse from the Billy Joel song, Just the Way You Are. Now, Billy Joel is one of Eric and I's favorite artists, as well as one of our favorite songs, so it was the perfect choice for us to use for our bedroom as we are currently redecorating. If you like what you see here, please be sure to like, subscribe, and hit that notification button below. If you know anyone that would like this video or my channel, please share this link because every view and every subscriber really helps enable me to keep creating videos for you. And if you'd like to see more of what I do, you can follow me on Instagram or take a look at my blog. I also have a Facebook group if you would like to share all the wonderful things you make. The links to all of these are in the description below. For this project, I picked up this cabinet door for $2 at Restore, so it's perfect to use as a plaque and to make into a picture that's pretty much pre-framed. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use some Goo Gone to kind of get off the tape stickies, and then I'm going to go in with my TSP substitute and give it a really good cleaning because it is kind of dirty and dusty. and then once that's done, we'll move on to the next step. Now that I have the door all cleaned, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with my sanding block and I'm just going to sand it down a little bit just to rough it up and get the, the finish off of it, give the paint a little more to adhere to. All right, now that I have it all sanded down, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go in with some of my Waverly chalk paint, and I'm using plaster instead of white, because for the bedroom redo, there's nothing else that's gonna be white in there. And this will bring a little bit more of a warm tone into uh, the room that matches some of the other colors I'm bringing in. So the first thing I'm gonna do is paint the entire center portion of the panel with my Waverly chalk paint.
Now that I have three coats of my chalk paint on the main section of the door here, I'm going to start painting the frame. And whereas I wasn't real worried about getting a little bit of the white paint up, I'm going to be a lot more careful about where my um, rose gold paint is going to go because I do want the frame to have a nice neat look. So I'm going to go ahead and tape off the bottom here with painter's tape. All right, now that I have everything all taped up and um, made sure that it's all pushed down so that there's no gaps in between, I'm going to go ahead and use my rose gold paint. It's a metallic paint and I'm going to paint the frame. All right, now that I have three coats of my rose gold paint on the outside of the frame, what I'm going to do is just peel off my painter's tape here. Right, and there is our piece all painted. I'm going to let it set and dry completely. The frame is still a little bit tacky from the last coat of paint, and then we'll move on to the next step. Now that our paint is all dry and ready to go, I have cut this out on my silhouette. It's a quote from Just the Way You Are by Billy Joel, and I've got everything weeded and on the transfer paper. I even managed to find and cut out uh, one of Billy Joel's autographs, so we'll have the signature on the bottom of the sign. So what I'm going to do is just first peel off this backing layer, and to do this I always flip it over upside down and then pull this back very carefully and slowly so that all the pieces of the vinyl stay on the transfer tape. You can see that comes off really pretty nicely. Right now, I'm just going to flip this over and find about where I want it to lay so it's centered. I think we're going right about here and I'm just gonna now push this down and I'm just gonna use my scraper tool that came with the silhouette just go ahead and get all those letters down Now I'm just going to start peeling the transfer paper off. Again, pulling it back at a sharp angle. Oops. There we go. Be sure everything sticks on there. And for this, I did use a matte finish uh, for my vinyl. I really love the way the matte finish looks. It gives it a more painted look and it's not shiny like a lot of the vinyls. Right, the last thing that I'm going to do now that I have the front finished is I'm going to flip it over and just finish off the back. And to do that, I'm going to use one of these large sawtooth hangers. And I'll include the link for this package below. I picked these up on Amazon. They're not very expensive, and you get a ton of them. And the other thing I'm going to use is just a couple of these little felt bumpers for the bottom, just so it doesn't bang up against my wall. All right, but before I start hammering away, I'm going to put this on a towel, just so I don't scuff up my table or damage the paint that I just finished putting on here. Go. and use a sawtooth hanger all you have to do is place it so that the prong sides are down and you just want to eyeball it to where it's pretty much in the center of your picture and then just gently 
take a hammer. All right, and that's all there is to it. That is in. And now again, for these little felt bumpers, I'm gonna put on the bottom here. It's going to tear the adhesive backing off and just stick one in each corner here. All right, there we are. This is all ready to hang. I absolutely love the way it came out. My husband and I love Billy Joel and this is one of our favorite songs. So it will be perfect to hang in our bedroom. All right, that is it for this project today. I will see you soon for another project. You guys have a great day. Bye-bye. If you like this video, please be sure to hit that like button as well as share it with friends who may also enjoy it. If you like my channel, hit that subscribe button and when the notification bell pops up, be sure you hit that as well so you never miss a video. And, as always, have a great day and stay crafty.